What's up everybody? We are back at the airport again. I know I've been saying it for like three videos, but I'm finally gonna get some loose ends tied up. I have my tensiometer. I've got all the screws and hardware for the panels. So we're gonna get the panels put on. We're gonna try to finish fitting everything in the wings. We're gonna get the cables tension. Uh, basically, we're just gonna get a lot of work done. So stick around. I'll get the camera set up. Probably gonna put some music in my ears and I'm just gonna get to work. Okay, so I've got the cables all installed and ran. I think, I don't know how much of that you can see, but there you go. Um, I did that in the last video. So these are my aileron cables. If I move the controls, you can see them moving left and right. This one is my carry through cable. So essentially from the controls, two cables come from the controls up, they cross to the ailerons and then a cable goes from aileron to aileron across the other way. And that's this cable, that's the carry through cable. And that's where you set the tension. So this is my tensiometer, very nice tool. What you do with that is you just stick it on here like this. Wow, 30 to 40 pounds. That's, I'm surprised I got it the, right on the first, first attempt there, but it is a 1 8 cable. You measure it on this scale with this line. It should be between 30 and 40 pounds. Well, while I'm here, these are the flap cables. These are 3 30 seconds cables. They are between 20 and 40 on the up cable with the flaps up. This is the up cable and between 20 and 40 with the flaps down, this is the down cable. They don't really have a relationship to one another um, because when the flaps are all the way up, this one is slacked. And when the flaps are all the way down, this one is slacked. So at any rate, I didn't even loosen these when we did the initial disassembly. So I'll check this one real quick and see what that comes out to. This comes to a whopping 40 foot pounds. Well, I mean, that's, that's what that one was supposed to be. That one's actually measured here on this black scale, this 330 seconds cable scale. And that one was right the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and get this turnbuckle safety wired and then I'll turnbuckle safety wire the other one. All right, I'll film this one, but I'm not going to film the other one. So this is pretty simple. Take a piece of 032 safety wire, run it through the center. And then there, it doesn't really matter which way you go, but you push this over. I'm going to go through this hole. This one is going to go through this hole. So I'll go ahead and push this one over too. Goes right through there like that. You can see where I poked myself with it. Safety wire is um, pretty sharp. Part of being an aircraft mechanic though, is we occasionally we poke ourselves with some safety wire, but it's part of the job, you get used to it. If you don't like it, then don't be an aircraft mechanic. cut way more than I needed, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get this to pull down. Oh, come on, I'm not in the mood. There we go. Try to get that nice and flat. And then, like I said, I'll go this way with this one. Cable safety wires kinked a little bit right there, but it's not the end of the world. Go this way with this one. Everything is very, very cold today. It probably doesn't look this way on the camera, but it's about 45-ish degrees Fahrenheit here in the hangar. So not exactly uh, warm. So when you're working with safety wire and things that poke you in the hand, it's never as enjoyable as one would think. So let me cut some of this tail off. I just don't need all that. And of course, there's always a cable in the way. So once you go through here, you're gonna go and wrap around the barrel in this direction. Now, it's important when I do the other one that the other one wrap around the barrel in the opposite direction. And I need to wrap around here at least four times, but seeing as how much wire I got left over, I'm probably just gonna go until the wire is empty, which will be pretty quick. So one, that's four, that's five, I'm going to take a pair of pliers like this and I'll just grab the end of it and sort of just pull it around. So there's that side done. So now this side, like I said, this side you're going to pull through and this side you're going to go the opposite direction. So this side over here went around this way. This side's going to go around that way. And what that does, these, these are threaded like a fence turnbuckle and it prevents the safety wire from or not the safety wire, it prevents the turnbuckle from turning and loosening the tension as the airplane flies, which can happen. It's rare, but it, it can happen. 
um, especially on these little airplanes they they don't have a lot of tension there's not a lot holding these you can tension the cables by hand you don't really need any special tooling even though they sell it so anyways i'll finish this up and then i'll get back with you all right flaps are done so let's go over to the aileron and let's tension that that's that done so i am going to go ahead and get the rest of the panels put on the wing got the wings all done because I'm special. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put the flaps back up so that I don't hit my head on them walking up underneath these things. Then I'm gonna try to fit these. I'm not gonna film that. If you wanna know how I fit these, it's the same way I fit the tail fairings. Go watch that video. Just like that, we got them fit. So finally got these installed. Got those down there installed too. All of the wings are nice and closed up, including the flaps. I still haven't put those up, but I'll put those up here in a minute. Um, so yeah, wings are done. That feels good. Uh, probably gonna go get myself something to eat. And then when I get back from lunch, I'm gonna finish up the bottom of that tail. And we are back from lunch. Uh, it was good. I had a chicken sandwich, imagine that. Um, like I said, wings are done on this. The sun has set, so it cooled back off here in the hangar a little bit. When I say set, I mean, it's not over the clear doors anymore so it's cooling off last thing i'm going to do for today is try and get this lower rudder fairing installed i'm going to have to cut it right here at the back for this probably not going to film a whole lot of that because it's the same process that i used for these so check out that video if you want to see how i do those um, but i'll get back with you when that's finished all right folks that's going to do it all i've got this one fit drilled in place um that's gonna do it all for this video i still am gonna be here for a little while i need to clean all of the old sealant and whatnot out of the old windows and try to get the rest of some of the rivets out but that's like watching paint dry so i'm not gonna bore you with it but if you like the video like comment subscribe and as always be easy